Hello, this is Blue Storm Wyvern, and I'm storming at you with a new review. And today I'm bringing you the limited edition of Trails of Cold Steel 4 from the Legend of Heroes series. Now, this is the final installment of the Erebonian arc, which I have really come to enjoy, so I've gotten to know all the characters pretty well in Erebonia. So, I'm almost sad to see this arc end. I hope it go on maybe a little bit longer. But we're getting... But the... Well, I'm sure we will be getting Hajimari no Kiseki like within the next... Like, I'm going to say 2002 because it usually takes two years for them to translate everything. And that's just the record I've seen with them do these so far. And... Uh, it seems like uh, all the old character, all the other old characters are going to be in that, along with some new ones. So I'll be giving that a look. And I was hoping to do this uh, video with, because I also pre-ordered the puzzle, and the, and uh, I want to also get the uh, Reen metal plate painting where he's all chained up and possessed. Of course that. But that costs like 200 bucks. I'm still going to get it, but just not at this point in time of this video. And uh, I, again, I also have the puzzle for Trails of Cold Steel 4 on pre-order, also from INS America, which is where I got this. For, forgive my rambling. But uh, to, can, to get to straight to the item itself. So here we are, and with Reen in his ogre form, is what they're calling it. And uh, on the, of course, you turn it around here and see his rest of his sword and his coat back here. And you see Milliam right there with the rest of the cast in the silhouette on here. Of course, turn here and you've got his arm with the Cold Steel 4 logo. And of course, on top also says Trails of Cold Steel 4 and all that. But if you lift the sleeve off, so first you see him with his possessed eyes. But if you take the sleeve off, he's got his normal eyes. And uh, so you can kind of see the difference. So that was a nice effect. And of course, same thing. See, and of course, on here you see some more of the cast. So right there you got Crow and uh, that's Maki there's Machias, and there's Fee. That is I think that's uh Usus. Yeah, that's Usus. And of course on here you see the rest of them. Gonna move, try to not bump it too much. Try to move this back. You'd see everybody. And got Yuna. Altina, Elisa. It looks like Oliver. No, that's Gaius. The lighting in the hair threw me off. There's Kurt, Laura, Elliot, Emma, Muse. So there's all of them. All right. So let's take a look. At the contents. And there's a whole bunch of stuff in there, so I'm gonna just do this. And the box looks like it's really high quality. So, alright. So, first on the stack, you got the steel book with Reen and Valimar. And on the back it says Trails of Cold Steel 4. And it's inside you get that. Shows everybody again. And this is pretty much what the puzzle is going to look like too. With all the characters on there. And this is really nice. It's kind of embossed on there so that's cool. Next is the complete black records. This is probably the art book. Yeah. And 
So, trying not to ramble on so much because my chip will then separate this video into two parts and I don't want that. So just kind of go through this. So we get Reen in his black outfit with his white hair. And there's some expressions. And there's a little bio for each of the characters. Next we got Yuna. They do the same thing for her. Probably doing it for all the characters. Next is Kurt. It even shows the new characters in their new outfits. Kurt almost looks like a noble, even though he he's basically well he was his family was basically assigned to protect the royal family. And there's Altina. This is a pretty thick arc, arc book, and the it's a hardcover. There's Elisa, who I choose to be Green's lady. And we got Elliot. There's Laura. Move this stuff back a little bit. Usus. They brought in every character thus far from the past Trails games, so that's I think that's really cool. So you'll get all the Crossbell and uh, Trails in the Sky characters, except maybe Arios. So, let's see who is that? Yeah, and here we have Gaius. Sorry, I forgot that. But yeah, and Sarah. Their illustrious instructor. Here's one of the first liberal characters, Estelle from Trails in the Sky. And Joshua, who is her adoptive brother. And their latest addition to the family, Ren, who is a, another former member of Ouroboros. And next is Lloyd Bannings from the Crossbell games. So he's part of the special support section. And Here's Randy. Next is Tio and Kia. I forgot, I didn't see Kia there, but there's Kia right there. And right next to her is Tio. Next we have Crimson Rosalia and Toa. There's Toa right here where my thumb is. And here's Rosalia. Who is, believe it or not, Emma's grandmother, but she's a vampire, so she's got that immortality thing going for her. Next we have Vita and Aurelia. Here's Vita right here at my thumb, and Aurelia over here with my finger. And here we go into the villains. So there's Giliath Osborne. And Black Alberic, and he's and uh, Giliath Osborne is Reen's biological father. Next we have Rufus Alberea right here, and 
Crown Prince Cedric Rice Arnor, who's kind of become a bad guy in the, in the last game and in this one. Well, he's kind of a jerk in the first, well, in Cold Steel 3, but in here he, he's fully on their side. And here we have Claire, who's not, she's just not, she's not bad, she's just confused and upset over what happened to Milliam. And plus she's an iron blood, so she's just following orders. Along with Lecter right here at my finger. So yeah, this is next we have Rutger, Clausel, and Crow. So we got Rutger over here, Crow over here. And here we have Copper Georg, also known as George, and of course here she's just called Kruger, but they also gave her the first name of Sharon. And everyone from Crow to up to Sharon here, they all rejoin the good side. A little spoiler there, and there's some more Ouroboros. Campanella and Maribel Kreuz. And there's Aaron Road here, and here's another. And her her three enforcers here, Duvali and the two others, also join Reen's side, except for Aaron Road. Don't want to give too much away. And there's Shirley Orlando, who's total psycho. And McBurn. And here we have this little image, which is the cloth poster, which also can't, comes with this set. And there's the one that's going to be the puzzle. There's some more. I didn't see, I haven't seen this image yet, so that's pretty cool. And this is what the metal plate painting is going to look like. And we have some scenes. And some illustrations there of characters. Yeah, that's pretty much what what is left in there. I don't want again. I don't want this to go on too long. Okay, so next is the cloth poster, which is what you've seen. Don't really want to open it, but show it again. But that's the picture that's the cloth poster. So there's that. And these are art cards. doing that. I'll just do this so that there's more room for everything. Okay, here. So, warning there it does the that thing did say spoilers, so if you want to wait until you play the game, but these are these cards are really nice. They got a reflective surface. So here we have Reen, and of course all of them will have this on the back. Next is Aaron Road. And 
and these are on cardstock. And we have Rufus. These, I guess these are all the Awakeners. There's Crow with Ordine. So we had Reen with Valimar. So there's Crow. Next we have Osborne. His Divine Knight. Rector Clausel. And Crown Prince Cedric. Next up is the soundtrack. And there's all of the songs. This is why I got the limited edition because the Frontline Edition just has a digital soundtrack, and I prefer my physical copies. But there's the cover, it's the same as on the Steelbook. And finally, the game itself Frontline Edition. And here is the back. I'm going to open the soundtrack first. So yeah, it's called Twilight Resonance. the disc and there's another image of Reen in his black outfit. Now let's take a look at the game. Yeah, in a world ablaze with war heroes must unite. You hear Reen's English voice actor Sean Chiplock do that in the narrative at the end of a trailer. like there's two things in here two discs so we got one of them's the game and another is a secondary soundtrack which is cool and of course it's got a reversible cover just to just do that just to kind of give you an idea so you can choose whichever one you want So again, it's just a, another little, I actually like these little booklets because I grew up with the old style where they, where every game came with an instruction booklet. So here we have Reen and Yuna, Altina and Kurt. And there's the puzzle image again. And there's the cloth poster image. And then there's that one right there. With all the other Awakeners. And there's the metal plate image, which I'll eventually get. And there's the Green and Valimar image on the steelbook. Here we have some locations again. So yeah, I'm gonna I'm excited for wanting to play this game. Right now I'm as of this video I'm on I'm watching all the other previous games on YouTube. Right now I'm still on two as of this video. Probably from Nord Highlands. 
which is one of my favorite locations in Erebonia. <clears throat> okay, so that about covers everything. So this was my, so here, so there you have it. Here was my unboxing of the Trails of Cold Steel 4 limited edition. And I got this and and I'm also still waiting for the puzzle. I got both of those pre-ordered from INS America. So and now I have the game. Now I'm just waiting for the puzzle. And eventually I'll get the metal plate image once I've saved up enough money. But up and but so until then, uh, scrimping and saving. Try to get everything to be seen here. Game does not want to stand up. All right. So that's about as good as that's going to get, but you know it's all there. So again, anyway, so this was my unboxing of the Trails of Cold Steel 4 Limited Edition. So uh, as always, like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you next time.